What's up guys, welcome back to another video, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get shaders in the combat snapshot. So, this, it doesn't actually use Optifine, because you can only get fabric for the combat snapshot. So, it's a bit different, we actually use something called Iris, and it's pretty cool, and uh, I guess we can just get right into the tutorial. Okay, so first of all, this is a fabric mod, and I actually already made a video on how to get fabric mods on the combat snapshot. So, if you just, uh, if you, you could watch that to see how you, like, install a fabric and, like, actually download mods. But, Iris is a bit different, because it's a bit weird, so I'll just show you how to do that. So, uh, just go to this website, I'll put it in the description, and just, uh, click download universal jar, and click keep. And then, once this is actually finished loading, you just click that. Um... And then it'll pull up this. Uh, you want to click install as fabric mod. And uh, you just uh, make sure that says 1.16.5 and that the only option is Iris and Sony. Make sure it's not Minecraft also. And then just click install and it'll install it. And if you already have installed it like I have, it'll say this, but it probably won't for you. So yeah, just click that. And then if you open your mods folder, you can see Iris is actually in there. Uh, yeah, now it will work. So you, um, there actually are some other required mods for this. You need, well, obviously you need Fabric API, but you also need Sodium. So, uh, make sure you have those mods for it to work. Okay, so, um, once you, like, open it up, um, you, so, one thing that I have to mention before I actually start using this, you can't change shaders in, well, you can kind of change shaders in-game. So, um, if you just go options, video settings, this is what video settings looks like with sodium. This is just a sodium thing. But if you have iris, you'll see this shader packs thing. So if you just click shader packs, you can see all of your shader packs are here. And you can actually uh, open your shader pack folder here. Uh, you can like refresh shader packs, do all that stuff. One thing that iris has that Optifine doesn't, other than uh, being able to use in the combat snapshot, is that you can't actually change the settings of the shaders even if you go into like the text file and change the settings there it still won't work i've tried for a very long time but sadly it's not possible i was reading some stuff about like a fork of it uh i forgot what it's called but i don't know the, they say that will be coming soon hopefully so keep um your eye out for that and once you're in game uh here on or i'm i'm here in combat reforged but um you can see uh these are it's pretty nice shaders i don't know so um you go into controls they're actually um they're actually like uh keys for this so you can reload shaders uh bring up the selection screen and toggle shaders don't bind anything to this though because remember it'll it'll uh just crash your game if you try and open it in game um uh, but I have my toggle shaders to T, so if I actually press the button, you can see it turns it off. I can turn it on. That works fine. You just can't open the screen to change which specific shaders you're using. And there was one thing that I was also trying to get to work, but is, I don't know, it's a bit weird. So there is a fabric mod called Lamb Dynamic Lights. Uh, I'll put a link to it in the description, and it just gives Optifine dynamic lights. It doesn't have that in this version, like, if you have, like, a torch and an item frame, that won't give off light. Um, I actually don't know if entities give off light. I think that's the shader thing, so I think this might do that. I haven't actually tested that, but, um, yeah, so, the, uh, I haven't gotten that to work it kept crashing i tried a bunch of different versions so but i don't know it is a possibility that that will actually work so i don't know if you want to mess around with that stuff you can try but uh other than that that'll actually probably about do it for this video it's just a quick little tutorial to notify you guys that this exists uh it's pretty cool so yeah make sure to subscribe also and like and comment and yes and bye <laughs>